Moon Knight, Moon Knight, Moon Knight, we've got more exclusive interviews with the brilliant minds behind Marvel's magnificent new series. And here now is my conversation with cinematographer Gregory Middleton. Are we back on the fifth floor? Yes, the fifth. My friend Claire lives here. I'm visiting her. She's expecting me. What's going on? I mean, first of all, congratulations on the show. It is absolutely stunning. Um, but can you can you talk to me about some of the some of the unique challenges that ha that come with having to shoot a superhero who is dressed almost exclusively in white? That's actually you know that's the first time I've heard this question. It was actually one of the first things when the project first first came up, and uh, I uh, you know my first meeting was with Grant Curtis, our Marvel exec. And he right. pitched, and I'm like, oh, okay, right. So I, I researched everything, like, oh my God, he's in a white costume. Like, you want to make a, a dark, complex psychological story with a guy in a white outfit. And part of me <laughs> is like, you know, terrified about the challenge, but also invigorated and, and excited. Like, this is going to be a way to do this in an interesting way. But it was a very interesting uh, jumping off point because like anything else, this story is about like a character, like the plot and everything comes out of the character. So everything kind of comes out of the what's going on with the character. And that was, you know, Jeremy's brilliant script that started with, you know, Steven's point of view and it's like a horror movie. And so yeah. like, having the filmmaking all come out of that, the white outfit was like, that was the first thing it was the terrifying me was like, oh my God, like doing a, a night scene with a guy in a white outfit who doesn't want to hide. But in the end it was also, that became like a secondary thing as we were moving along. And it's not a story about this suit. It's a story about this character. Uh, and, and the choice to make um, the sort of Mr. Knight suit which in the comic is just like a different version of him. It was like a brilliant Correct. idea. Like, it's just like, it's a brilliant concept. It was, it was. Um, so watching Moon Knight, I was getting the mummy vibes, a little bit of Raiders, Lawrence of Arabia. And I was wondering if you could talk to me about how you as a cinematographer think about these callbacks, because it never feels like a direct reference to me. It feels like a sense and a feeling. Yeah, um, well, that's great. That's that's the highest compliment I think you'd pay. So thank you very much because it's oh good. It, well, also you know the one thing that's great about the scripts is every episode is like a different film. It is a bit of a different genre. There's and it, you know there's a lot of emotion in the story too. But it's I find if you can tell a story in an interesting way that's specific that helps the story come across better. And if that has to change as you're telling the story to keep up with what's happening. That makes for a very engaging uh, experience, right? Like Watchmen was a similar thing in some certain ways, but it's sort of like you want to put the audience, you know, with the character and with everything with, with Stephen and Mark. But then also you want to have this, like, it's this incredible travelogue of like, we're going all over the place and we have incredibly, you know, ancient relics. And then we're in thing. There's a great sort of a, there's sort of, there's a shot at the beginning of three when Harrow is uh, coming up and we're shooting in Wadi Rum in Jordan, which is the amazing view of, this incredible yeah. desert and we sort of staged all that shot like that was sort of in, like helped design that shot it's a that's a bit of a sort of david lean spielberg type of shot where you have yeah. everything else you see this and then you come into this close-up i mean there's a great shot in raiders where you come across everything else and you come across at the beginning and there's the the, the little dart in the tree right and his hand yes. comes up and does that and then speedo comes in oh my god Hovitos. it's like you know staging something in that way and this was like hey if we're going to do this the one thing is if you're using the camera to, and you really want to see that landscape, then you, we don't want the camera moving too much. You don't want it to be blurry. We want to see this place. So then you want to stage the action in a way that it can do the movement for you so you can have firm focus also on this incredible landscape you have. So you sort of like design the shot that, you know, you can move the things in you to create the movement you want, but also to not accidentally like shake the camera and hide the thing you want to see. One of the most fun of things like that when you switch genres is using the camera in slightly different ways that sort of feel like that genre and are appropriate and still tell the story exactly right. Because if it tells the story you want, you won't be thinking about, oh, it's a shot like this from this other film. You know, because that's if it if you think that, then we've we failed and we're we're terrible filmmakers and we should be, you know. I mean, as soon as you notice, then it becomes a problem. I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh, but I am completely out of time. But good God, man! Like, oh, I'm sorry. I was. I talked too no, long. Sorry. That was, no, that was absolutely brilliant. And congratulations once again. It is magnificent to look at. So thank you very much. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of it. That was Gregory Middleton. He is a cinematographer on Marvel's Moon Knight. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out our other interviews on YouTube. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. You know what to do.